Well, look who's here this Friday morning. The man himself, his name is David Barnson. And I want to talk to you, David, not about dividends. I want to talk to you about cryptos. Is this turmoil the end of the game for the crypto guys? I don't know if it's the end of the game. I, I believe it is a total redefinition of what's going to go on. I, I, I had tweeted last week, there's two things that can uh, save the space. Um, or excuse me, kill the space. And that is either government coming in and regulating it or government not coming in and regulating it. There's just um, the whole premise was that they can operate under the veil and no one uh, needs to know what's going on. And that has led to total disaster, two trillion dollars of wealth evaporation and counting and a total lack of trust in the entire system. Is Bitcoin and the other crypto, are they dead, finished? No, they're not dead. There will still be uh, people who want to record transactions on a ledger. Yep. And that's all it ever was. And so the notion of it going from 1,000 to 70,000, nobody could ever explain why. But using it as a utility to record transactions on the blockchain, that's fine. Okay, got it. David, we'll be back to you shortly with the dividend pick. Got it. I want to get back to David Barnson because I always love his dividend picks. The pick he's got today is Cisco. Now, I don't associate Cisco with a big dividend pay. What do you got? Well, they've grown the dividend double digits per year for the last 10 years. Oh, okay. And a lot of people don't know that. <laughs> it, it, it's actually one of those stories of these big, huge tech stocks from the 90s that went way, way up and would never pay a dividend. Then they came way, way down. And somewhere along the line, they became a value stock. And now they kick off a ton of cash. They have a dividend that's grown 10% per year for 10 years, and they've really moved a lot of the revenue model, Stuart, to recurring revenue. Their clients are paying subscriptions for software services, and so it's recurring revenue that gives you consistency in that dividend. Okay. What is the actual dividend payment now? Three and a half percent, but if you bought it 10 years ago, you're getting nine percent on your money. So that's the way we look at it. Growth of dividend over time. Buy it today at three and a half in 10 years. It'll be nine percent on your money. Sold, Barnson. Sold. David, thank you very much indeed. Good stuff. I'll see you later. Thanks a lot, man.